Inflation has totally destroyed American households in the past three years. Let's dive into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got something I wanna to read to you real quick, some information I wanna to read to you guys. Americans are paying an average of $784 a month compared to the same time two years ago in 2022. Now, contrast that to 2021, Americans are paying over $1,000 a month for the same goods and services we were using three years ago, guys. Guys, inflation continues to be an issue around the world, not just in the United States. Guys, everything is still expensive these days. Everybody knows this. But one thing today that I wanna to talk to you guys about is how to survive inflation. Guys, the only people that are surviving inflation right now is those that have little to no debt and retail investors like myself. The little guy, the little guy investors. Guys, we are the only ones that are surviving inflation right now. If you have debt, tons of debt compiled with inflation and the extra cost that you are paying for goods and services, you guys can't survive. How are you guys surviving today in 2024? Let me give you an example of something, guys. I was driving home from work the other day and one of my tires was making some noise. Get out of my car and I look at the, and I look, Look around my car's my front driver's side tire in bad shape. So for shits and giggles, I went and looked up that same set of tires that I bought four years ago in 2020. Those same tires are $40 more per tire in 2024. So it's gonna cost me $160 more in 2024 for the same set of tires I bought in 2020. That's a problem, guys. But because I have pretty much no debt besides a mortgage, and I have an emergency fund, and I have investment. So yeah, it pissed me off, but I have the money to take care of it. So what I want to talk to you guys today is the five financial principles you should instill in your life to help you grow wealth, and even if you're not trying to grow wealth, but just to get you to some type of financial freedom. And this one thing, I'm, and this is some things, guys, that I'm gonna talk about in all my videos because following this plan is what got me to where I am today. I have no consumer debt. All I have is a mortgage. I'm able to save and I'm able to invest like crazy because the main thing is I have no consumer debt. Guys, it wasn't, I just want to let you guys know, if this is your first time on my channel, it was not always like this. It was not always like this. But I tell people my story because I want people to understand that you can eliminate debt out of your life. Back in 2010, 2011, we were broke as a joke. Car repossessions, bad credit, credit in collections. I mean, guys, we was in bad shape. We didn't have no money saved, zero, no savings, no investments, no nothing, no 401ks, no nothing. And then one day I decided enough is enough. And what really woke me up one day, because I pretty much handled the finances, paid the bills in the household. And when I was writing out my minimum payments on credit cards, when I'm writing out a thousand dollars a month and minimum payments to credit cards, I said, this is insane. This is nuts. I'm just, we're just giving money away in interest payments. We're just giving money away. So that's what, that's what opened my eyes. I said, you know what? There's got to be a better way. And these credit card companies are making record profits because we carry debt on credit cards and do not pay them off monthly. I'm going to tell you, if you can't pay your credit cards off monthly, I don't think you should be using them because you're just giving money away. You, just, you are, you're just giving money away. No matter how you slice it, you're just giving money away if you're not paying it off monthly. We did the Dave Ramsey plan, or I should say we were Dave-ish, because we believe in using credit cards, but we believed in paying them off monthly when we used a credit card. But we used the debt snowball from the Dave Ramsey plan, and we just took our debt from smallest 
to hires and went one by one and paid the debt off, guys. Took us a couple years, but to be debt free now, it's exhilarating. I can do what I want, when I want. If an emergency comes up, I can dip into my emergency fund. I can dip into my investment account because it's a non it's a non retirement brokerage account. So if something happens, I got two avenues to grab money. This inflation to me is just a major inconvenience because it's like why do I have to pay this extra money for the same I was buying three, two and three years ago? But because of the steps that I took before inflation hit and was already debt free with an emergency fund with investments right now is just a major inconvenience. So guys, I want to talk about the five financial principles that if I was you, I would instill in your financial life to help you get into the position that I am in today. Number one, live on less than you make, guys. Guys, you have to live on less than you make. Spending more using credit cards and things of that nature and not being able to pay them off monthly is living above your means. Live on less than you make. Guys, right now, I have a positive net worth and I still live on less than I make to this day, even though I have an emergency fund and investment accounts and a 401k. But it's actually really easy today because I'm single now. So it's even more easier because I never was a big spender anyway. So you gotta live on less than you make. Living on less than you make means living on a plan setting goals, knowing where your money is going and not wondering where it went. Number two, you need to live on a budget. Right now, guys, I don't even, I, I really don't budget right now because I know what I spend out every month. I know what I, I know what I, I have an emergency fund, so I pretty much know what I'm going to invest every month and I know what all my bills are, but I spend responsibly. So you have to live on a budget. Number three, stay away from consumer debt and stop accumulating consumer debt. Guys, if you, if you have consumer debt, if you have tons and tons and tons of consumer debt, you will never get to any type of financial freedom in your life. You will just be hoping and praying to hit the lottery or to get some type of major windfall. You will never reach any type of financial freedom or any type of wealth carrying consumer debt. Credit card payments, crazy amounts of credit card payments. That's nuts. Crazy car notes, six, seven, eight hundred dollars nine thousand dollar a month car payments. Cars is a depreciation asset, ladies and gentlemen. Stop buying these high priced cars. Guys, I drive a 2014 Chevy Cruze as my daily driver. Guys, this car has 170,000 miles on it. But it looks good, it drives good. It, if I was to sell it, I probably could get six, seven grand for it. Immaculate condition, because I take care of my cars. It has 170,000 miles on it, guys. Runs like a champ. I'll never make another car payment as long as I live on this earth. Never again, because I've learned cars are a depreciating asset. So if I'm gonna buy one, I'm gonna pay cash for it. My dream car is a Corvette. I want a Corvette. I do not like the new C8s. I want me about a 2018 or 2019 C7. But when I go buy it, I'm gonna pay for it in cash. But that's a want, it's not a need. But when I'm comfortable going, being ready, when I'm comfortable and ready to go buy it, I'm going to go buy a Corvette. That's my dream car, that's what I want. Then you got number four, guys. Save an emergency fund. See, I believe if people have some type of savings and emergency fund, it'll keep them out of certain debts. You know, going out to take out a personal loan, having to go take out a payday loan, having to use credit cards. You know, everyone should have at least a three to six month emergency fund of your household bills. Three to six months of your household bills should be tucked away in some type of like high yield savings account to help protect you against an emergency or job loss, things of that nature. And then number five, once you got through all of this and you paid off the debt, you're living on a budget, you done saved for that emergency fund, then you need to start say investing. If your company has a 401k, get in your company 401k. I say contribute at least the bare minimum, I, I contribute 20% into my 
company's 401k. But at least contribute 10%. At least. And then I would try to get to at least 15%. So if your company has a 401k, contribute at least 10 to 15% of that company's 401k. Then open a brokerage account. Open a brokerage account at Vanguard, at Fidelity, at Charles Schwab. I'm with Vanguard. I've been with Vanguard for 15 years now. My brokerage account is through Vanguard. Because of my income, I can't contribute to a Roth 401k. Or I mean a Roth IRA because of my income. So I just have a regular brokerage account and I invest in the S&P 500 index fund and I invest in the total stock market index fund through my brokerage accounts. If your company does not offer a 401k, because I was in that position, my company did not offer it. I never worked for a company that offered a 401k until I started with my current employer 13 years ago. So if your, if your company does not offer a 401k, Make sure when you're ready, you go and open a Roth IRA through one of those brokerage accounts, Vanguard, Fidelity, Charles Schwab. And then alongside from that Roth IRA, then open up another brokerage account through them, but make it a non-retirement brokerage account. And then just buy you another index fund that you can contribute money to. That way you have a retirement account and then you have another investment account that you can access if you need to, that's non-retirement. So like I said earlier, guys, the only individuals that are surviving and actually growing their wealth through, the, through this inflation is the individuals that have minimal to no debt, have savings, and are active investors. Guys, I paid the price to get where I am today. Getting out of debt is hard. Being in debt is hard. You got to choose. So guys, with that, I want to thank you guys for letting me rant about inflation. Please like this video, guys. Remember, like the video. Please share the video. And most important, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. Remember, guys, financial decisions you make today will impact your financial life tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money. I'm out.